Hey guys, welcome back to Model Trains and such. Uh, sorry I've not done a video for a while, but I've been rather busy at work and, and what have you. Uh, tonight I'm doing a bit of work on the 5 inch gauge loco, electric loco that you've not quite seen yet because, well to be honest, I've not built it yet. Um, I had these milled out at work. I asked my supervisor nicely if I could have the mill operator just clean them out because they were they were cut like that. They weren't straight, they were like that. And I plan on using uh, this little bit of bar. See that on camera? Just to go there and there. And a piece across the top just to form the horn blocks. The actual boxes that's the material that I bought from Locate. I've had it in my car quite a while, so I've not actually got around to doing the actual boxes. But um, I need to mark out these so I can cut my bar to form the horn plates, then I can work out what slot I need either side and also what width the slot needs to be. So that's that's there for that. At the moment, I'm just bluing these up so I can mount them out. <laughs> this is engineer's blue, or layout fluid as some people call it. I call it engineer's blue. And it just makes marking out a whole lot easier. Just blue, blue it all up. It's really easy to see lines then. You can, you can put a scribe line on really easily. I am going to silver solder these, I'm going to cut all this up to all the dimensions that I want. I haven't worked them out yet but I'm going to do that in a minute. So I give it a real good coat, it doesn't have to be pretty, it's literally just there so you can mark it out. And there we are, we'll let that one dry. I don't know why I've got two batteries on there. They can go down there because they're completely dead. That on top of there. Right. I'm just going to lay this on the top of here. This one's dry now. Approximately there. And lo and behold, I can't find my scriber now. I did have a scriber on here. I'm just going to use the. Oh, oh, didn't you go falling over? That's the engineer's blue. I did drop it on the workbench over there uh, a while ago. And that's why I've now got part of a blue workbench. So, line this up on the edge of there. And we'll put a scribe line. And there we are, and that tells me what width that will be as to where I want it. And also I've gone a bit further past, you can't really see it on camera, but I've gone about there where my thumb is, so that when I've drawn this line on here, I can place that to there roughly where I want it, and then that will give me the height from there to the bottom of the straight pieces. So I'll just put another line across here. Somewhere about there. And there we are. Two lines. Just show you. There we are. Two lines. So now I'm going to measure them and see if I've got them. Wow, there's a massive spider over there. Good job I'm not scared of spiders. To have a measure, copy. Oh, lukewarm copy because I forgot about it. What have we got here then? Thirty-eight one six.
3816 are there fairly where I want them. They're not bad at all. Right. How long do I... So I want that first one, 3816. Yeah. So if I do the same on this one, and you can maybe just see that on the camera. Somewhere there. And put a scribe line across there. Same on this side. And there we are, two scrub lines. Now it'll be interesting to know if these lines are anywhere near what this these are. Thirty-eight one five. Now they're pretty much the same. So now what I need to do is just measure. I'm just going to pop that on top of there. Roughly where I want it. Where's the holes? I want to try and use these holes secure these on. I am going to silver solder these on for now if I can get it hot enough. Um, yeah, if I can get it hot enough that's what I'm going to do. It should be alright. Right, we'll mark up this top one. Get me get me marker back. Those holes that I want to use to fix them on. So, I think I'll measure <clears throat> that gap there. I think I'll measure two and a half mil and put a scrub line on there. And the same with that one. So that's what I'm going to do. Oh, that's better. That looks better. Right, let's just have a measure of that gap. I think it's about two and a half mil. Or is it three? It's about three and a half mil. So basically, right across the top, three and a half mil. Three and a half mil across the top. I just want to come down a little bit. <coughs> Two point five. Right, let's have a look. Two 
yeah, that's going to cover that hole really nicely because it's. I do want to use these holes because they're already there. Why drill more when I can just put the material exactly where I want it, and it's ideal. That's going to go there like that. So whilst I've got them, my, my, that vernier set, I'm going to do the same on these ones that are here. The same on those there. Spin it around again. So they're, they're going to be there like that. I know I've not filed them off or cleaned them up yet. But uh, they're going to sit there. And now I'm just going to measure from the bottom there. Oh. Roughly there. Get back on that line, you little bugger. There we are. So from the bottom of that to that line there. I'm actually going to scribe that on there. Then we'll measure that. And then cut one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now I do want two pieces, one there and one there, and that will basically form the uh, horn blocks. In fact, instead of silver soldering these on, I think I'm just going to glue them on, and then I can drill them after. I think that's going to be the best way to do it. I've got, I think. I've got some super glue just there. So I can super glue those on once I've cut them all. Uh, yeah. And that will work. That will work lovely. That will work absolutely lovely. So let's just get these. There's the mini Vernia Kuipers. 2.53. Nearly the same. If my dad says we're not we're not building watches, just a model train really. It does have to be somewhat right, but uh, there can be a bit of play, but not a lot. All right, they're on. I'm scribe lines are on. Look about the same. So now I just want to hold that there and just cut that scrap line across. Oh, excuse me. Bring that down a little bit, just there. And across there. Take that one all the way across as well, and hopefully, when I put the other lines on, they should uh, match up. So I'll show you this. I'm sorry about that belly of mine. So there we are. That's what the uh, arm blocks are going to look like. Piece across there, a one and a two, and the same on that one. And that should make it really nice. Out of interest, I can undo. I can undo these now because I've got uh, the measurement I needed. Let's just have a measure of that. What have we got on there? Seven nine six, basically eight mil. Down there, so that should easily just cover that hole. Yeah, lovely jubbly, as uh, Mr. Delboy used to say. Right, I'm gonna crack on with these, and uh, in my next video, I shall put a picture of. Uh, all these harm blocks glued on and possi possibly drilled. I've got those uh, lines up here to mark on, on yet, but uh, I haven't quite got there yet. But um, uh, yeah, we shall see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. 
uh, please subscribe if you like this video and give it a like for me and uh, I will see you next time. Bye bye.